glistening like Edward Cullen today. I don't. Hey everyone, I'm Joe, and you're watching Fun for Louie. By the way, Louie, I love you. Good morning, guys. Um, well, afternoon. Um, I slept for a few hours. I still haven't heard anything back about the, uh, the theft from yesterday. Um, waiting to hear back from the police. And I'm also looking into tracking my laptop um, through Apple. But um, yeah, I'll keep you updated throughout the day. And we're just sitting down for lunch at the moment. Hey. <laughs> this looks yummy. Right, I got a phone call from the police and they are processing the crime report and they said they're gonna check security cameras and all that and let me know. But they said I shouldn't hold out much hope for retrieving any of my stuff that was taken. So I think it's uh, slowly sinking in. Um, the main thing is I'll, I need to get a replacement passport because I'm actually going away next week uh, on a little holiday which I haven't told you guys about yet, uh, but I will do. Um, but yeah, I might need to get my passport replaced in the next, you know, probably on Monday or Tuesday. And I'm now in Rodney with Darcy and my dad and we are heading up to where I used to work at Sky Television. My dad's still got a friend there and we're going to go and say hello and maybe have a little tour and it'll be quite interesting because I haven't been there in like 10 years. So it'll be quite fun. Right, we've arrived at Sky TV. This is the offices I used to work in, for those of you that don't know. Way before YouTube, way before the youth work I used to do. I used to do uh, 3D animation at Sky Television and I used to work in this building. And this is all kind of bizarre for me. It's a bit of a blast from the past. Right, we have been in. We've looked around, had a bit of a tour. I saw a couple of people I used to work with. But unfortunately, there was no filming allowed inside. No filming allowed inside at all. So, uh, sorry, guys. How did you find it, Dad? Yeah, interesting. Very interesting, a lot of edit suites. Um, 16,000 people work here. So, uh, a bit overwhelming, really. Well, we're on our way home, and I uh, just need to stop off for some snacks, because I'm feeling hangry this whole situation with my laptop and everything as well. Right, I, uh, I fell asleep guys. I was so shattered because we just did not get any sleep last night and uh, my dad's made me a cup of tea. Ben's come to pick me up and, uh, and we're gonna go and uh, grab some dinner. We've arrived at Byron Burger. I'm hoping, having a little bit to eat, um, might change my mood, put me in a better mood. Guys, I got a chili burger, green chilies. I'm putting on some hot sauce as well. I'm excited. How do you enjoy dinner, Ben? I love a Byron burger. I'm smashing the burgers at the moment. I think it did put me in a bit of a better mood. It's always nice to have a fool's tummy. Yeah. Right, I I logged into MacBook, the MacBook Pro as like a, you can register it to, so when you lose it, you can find it. And this alert has just popped up on my MacBook Air that it's been found, so it's gonna give me the location of my bag. We're gonna go and get that guy right now, surely. Yeah, I think we drive and find it. So you have the location where your laptop is Where right is now. it? Look, I'm finding now. Is no, that MacBook. not it? MacBook Pro, here locating. Why is it taking this long? So I'm Old location. Where the hell is that? Bethnal Green. 33 minutes ago, it was in, at this address in Bethnal Green. And it's not going to have moved. We need to get the police, surely. No, no, don't involve police. I did this last time. They're like, you need Let's a warrant to search the building. It doesn't happen. Ben, Just what are you saying? Vigilante. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll yeah. come, yeah. Yeah, She's out. Yeah. yeah, Will's good at breaking down doors. Ben, Why isn't this do you think you're going to be going on this journey? <laughs> well, I have to because I'm driving, so. Right. <laughs> no choice there. Yeah. So I'm still pumped with adrenaline. Um, basically, I cannot believe that we got the location popped through on my phone of where my MacBook Pro is right now, which hopefully is where my bag is with all the other stuff as well. Ben has kindly offered to lead a vigilante group, uh, <laughs> which consists of me, Will, and Finn. 
and we, they're the heavies. Yeah, <laughs> we needed these guys as backup, and we're going to this, what I imagine is quite a rough area of Bethnal Green. Uh, to try and retrieve some stolen goods. Um, yeah, that's where Mr. This is, and Mrs. Stabby live. This is definitely a first for me. I haven't done this before. Um, but the police, we just called the police and they have offered to assist us, which is good. They said we probably shouldn't take the law into our own hands. Um, <laughs> so we're, we're on our way, we're about half an hour out. Guys, this is where it's pinpointed, where my laptop might be. But this is the surroundings that we're driving through and it could be any of these blocks of flats. And I just got um, word from the police that they're not going to stick around whilst we knock on 200 doors. Uh, but I said I'll call them if we run into any trouble. Right, there's two houses we think it could be and we haven't approached them yet, the lights are still on. Um, I'm being very optimistic at this point. The police have put me on hold because they don't want us to go in without backup. Understandably. Yeah, because I guess they could get in trouble if we get shot or something. And, um, a little bit but I think we're good. I think I'm not going to be accusative. I'm going to be like, oh, hey, um, have you seen my bag? Have you seen my laptop I'm looking around? Hello. Hello. Sorry, I just talked to one of my supervisors. Yeah. Okay, basically, I'm not going to advise you to go in and knock on someone's door because they can be armed or they can, you know, they can be harmed that you might get hurt. You might be in a vulnerable position. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this back to the local borough yeah. and ask them to reattend. So you're at um, Lang Street, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, we're, specific address. we're actually we're actually around the corner oh, from Lang Street. If, if, you, house, if, you, yeah. if they could Go call me back, house, Sept Sept we're house. outside Scepter House. Right, the police have arrived, guys. They're just pulling up now. play a sound and see if uh, we can hear it through someone's window. We've got a new team member on our vigilante team. Steve! <laughs> right, we've got an update guys. It's seeming relatively positive. What I've done is, I approached some local guys that were just walking around, and I said, I've got a proposition for you. I will offer you some reward money if you can return my bag or find where it is and return it to me. So I've got some local guys on the case and they said give us 24 hours and one guy even said I know where your bag is. So let's hope this works. Um, in the meantime it's getting pretty late and we're all going to head back and uh, I think finally the first time today I might be able to relax a little bit. Um, what do you think? Are you hopeful, Steve? I think so. I reckon this is your best bet, basically. Right, back with my parents, and um, I don't know. Sorry, sorry if I've been out of it a bit, guys. Um, it's all been a bit traumatic for me, to be honest, this whole uh, scenario that's going on. Next Thursday, I, I'm booked to be going away for five days. Um, we're actually celebrating, we're going to, uh, to Ibiza and we're celebrating with Jack and Finn for their 21st birthday. It's all going to be uh, a bit of a break uh, for me and Ben actually from the, the daily vlogging, although I do want to put content up and the plan was, like I said the other day, is I was going to put up these, these road trip videos from 2011 during those four or five days whilst I'm away. Uh, but now my laptop's been stolen, so firstly those videos aren't there. Um, and now my passport's gone, so I might not be able to go unless we get the bag back and the passport. So I've been quite upset today and just processing all of that and trying to figure out another plan and just, I guess, it's all sinking in and the consequences of having the bag taken. Right, I need to get some sleep because I, tomorrow me and Darcy and Amelia are going on a little trip away for the day. I'll catch you guys then. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom. <laughs>